Well, I, t I will give what I um, saw as the, the issues that had a lot of traction uh, and some of the um, uh, consensus, I suppose, that, that has emerged the debate. Um, three or four points, really. Um, one is that there seems to be an emerging consensus that if this is a, uh, the issue of uh, dealing with cybercrime, cybersecurity, um, privacy, um, and uh, openness is, is a joint responsibility, that we should rather look at roles and responsibilities of the different stakeholders um, and, and look at it as, um, as people working in, in um, synergistically. Um, there's a defin definite need uh, through the discussion that, that's emerged for, um, for more information about where to go. Um, so who to turn to in the case of uh, people becoming victims of cybercrimes uh, and trying to find a remedy or process um, in the offline or the real world environment. Um, and this was said while noting that uh, you know, there, was, there was some talk around the, the role of enforcement and the point is made that in some cases uh, going to enforcement officers, to law enforcement officers, may not be the best route because they may be, uh, in some cases, also um, part, of, part of the problem rather than the solution. And, the, and here the, the, the reference was specifically to, to repressive states. Um, um, there's also, there was also recognition that there is, in fact, a lot happening, um, but that we need, as I said earlier, a discussion about how these different stakeholders uh, would interact with each other to resolve incidents. Okay, um, the second point that um, I suppose also relates to this is that um, that not necessarily we we shouldn't necessarily talk about um, a tension uh, between security and privacy, that, uh, but that these can be mutually reinforcing, um, and also point uh, picking up on point by. Marilyn Cade, that we need to also, as part of this uh, discussion, bring in the, um, the implications for openness. Um, further to that, that the tension should be reconceptualized as that between rights and responsibilities. Um, and this also brings into focus the importance of education and specifically media literacy for users. Um, another view is that, or I just said, I suppose, is that it's less attention than uh, about mutually reinforcing imperatives, uh, i.e. security, privacy, and openness. Um, just around, quick around the role of the IGF, I think people feel very positive about it as a space for uh, developing a consensus, for developing a deeper understanding of the different viewpoints, the different perspectives, and that, that this has value in, in and of itself. Um, and there was some skepticism about whether we could reach a, a decision here, but this is the consensus and the deep understanding may lead to better decisions, more informed decisions in, in other spaces. Uh, and just finally then on the, on the child pornography uh, issue, um, there's been a, a number of um, points made by different people about uh, this perhaps not being the appropriate space to, to take up this discussion any further and that we need to move um, to look at mechanisms, measures, processes in different, in other spaces, more appropriate spaces, um, where these, where the issue can be addressed more effectively. But it's also uh, raised the, the issue of a, um, the need for a more nuanced debate. Um, that people have thrown up the question about, you know, what is a child, what is harm, what is full content, um, and further to that that there are people who, or, or stakeholders in this discussion who are not part of, of, the, of the debate here, who, as we move it forward into whatever spaces we take it, that we also need to bring those, those communities, those, um, those interested parties into the discussion to enrich the debate, but also to look at how, you know, if we talk about um, child pornography and some of the measures that are being, that are being proposed, what are the implications for other users? I think I'll stop here. Evident. Um, I will not uh, attempt to summarize such a rich debate that we had. Uh, I think that uh, I will only note some of the points that were raised. And to start with, I think that there were, they were complex in nature. They were indeed important. And uh, perhaps the continuation of the debate uh, will uh, 
take the path of uh, looking for a balance between security, privacy, and openness, which is not an easy task, given the multidimensional nature of the issues, that no solution fits for all. Uh, the problems that were raised today, the questions that were, were posed here, they uh, represent challenges, not only to law enforcement agencies, uh, but also to parliamentarians, to civil society, to inter intergovernmental organizations, to the private sector, to the technical community. So whatever the way forward may be, it has to go through the multi-stakeholder cooperation, dialogue, and partnership in the spirit of uh, shared responsibilities. Um, that is, drawing the line between privacy, security, and openness is indeed a collective work. Uh, we have to start somewhere. Uh, I think it is about time for us to move from discourse to action, and uh, it would facilitate that if we start in an area where there is a clear common understanding of what needs to be done. Uh, for instance, one of the issues that has been debated uh, at length today was the question of child protection against sexual abuse and pornography. And uh, it seems that discussion has matured enough in this area so that now we perhaps could think of creating a common environment where all relevant stakeholders could build trust and work together and uh, the IGF and this discussion certainly facilitates that and can continue facilitating it. Uh, we need to remember the need of enabling developing countries to fully participate and share their needs, challenges, and concerns. And uh, we also uh, need to remember that we are not starting from scratch. We are not reinventing the wheel. There are relevant references there are international norms like the, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, among others. And there are national and regional experiences that are uh, indeed uh, useful and are already there, as we have uh, heard from many who participate in this debate. And uh, to finalize, my last, my last point is about the need for a long-term solution which is uh, not only based on uh, law enforcement, but uh, also on the quality of education, on uh, education of quality uh, devoted to raise uh, consciousness and awareness towards personal empowerment, uh, fulfillment, and above all, happiness, uh, so that uh, we uh, may become uh, integral human beings that we are all meant to be. So that's what I would like to, to say to finalize. Thank you very much. Everton, thank you very much.